Jermaine Guy CBK back with a video and this is going to be <sighs> disappointing for a lot of people, hard for a lot of people, certainly disappointing for me and hard for me to um, to have to report this because the reality is, yes, there's been more rugs in the whole no, no <laughs> Dow, the, uh, the whole damn space is right now is just filled with ruggers thieves let's call them what they are they're thieves yeah and it's disappointing it's disappointing because you you, you know the, the crypto space isn't supposed to be about this right that's number one it's not supposed to be about people going out there you know seeking an opportunity to just rug pull still and just you know still people's hard-earned cryptos man it's not what it's about and these are the people that slowly going to bring regulations in. And I have to say that disappointed is not even a word. Right? I'm highly upset right now. Yeah? Now we've got, you know, I'm sure some of you guys heard. Uh, let me read it. I mean, this has come from um, Tactical Investment Investing. And let me just say, guys, because you know what? I've had people on my channel sort of come down and the first people you look at is the people who bring the information to you, right? And I've had people in my comments here saying, you know, oh, basically, you know, you 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 um, brought this um, opportunity and if it wasn't for you, I wouldn't have got in there, blah, blah, blah. And yes, I know it's not financial advice, but the fact of the matter is you're the one that brought the information. And listen, 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 and listen clearly right you cannot blame people especially if they're saying this is not financial advice look i say this all the time i'm sure ta tactical investment um investing says it other big youtubers way bigger than me everybody says it they it's, it's just what you say you have to say it because look no one's got a crystal ball here that they can rub to see what's going to happen in the future we all go into things with the hope that they are going to last and i just want to qu quickly just say that before i get into this right so look let's get into it um tactical investing right so basically people are saying the discord is on fire you know but i uh, only got I, I don't know what they're saying over there i'm not a part of it but anyway so tonight so basically he's going to be exposed and apparently because apparently he spoke to the people of um ring and i believe probably even meta i'm not sure let, let, let's see what he's going to say. So he says, Tonight I'm exposing the identities behind Meta Island and Ring Financial. I'm exposing the lies and deceit spread by the founders, lies and lies told to me over the phone. Thank you to all who have provided me with information for the video, for this video. More to follow. So that's coming out. That was 19 hours ago. So. Uh, chances are it could well be on on his channel already but look this is what i'm saying here right so you've got people in the comments um actually before i do that so um yeah so tonight i'm exposing the identities behind meta island and ring financial so it's meta island which is rug and ring financial apparently i think whatever i don't know anyway the the person who brought this is Vapor Nose. I hope they trapped the team down. Apparently, 300 million in treasury that they made off with, unfortunately. I know a lot of our community held Ring and Meta. God damn. 300 million these thieves stole, man. Right, so look. This is what people are saying in the actual comment area now. So basically, they're saying, oops, IGO. Um, bro, it's not nice to, um, it's not nice, look at trash other projects, oh sorry, it's not nice, bro, it's not a nice look to trash other projects, sorry man, without solid proof and hearing the other side first, I don't trust either side at the moment, not trashing, that's why I said apparently I don't know full story, but it doesn't look good yeah so the f look anyway let's just see what other people are saying right so hector down um hectorism no no that's not it no, i don't want to go over there don't want to go over there don't want to go is there anything else i think i might need to click on the actual no there's 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 
that's it. So, yeah, show, show more replies. Let's see more replies. Okay, um, please, no talk anymore. Just build. No worries, we're building. Um, the AMA with Kryptonairs was so sketchy and bad. Still, Kryptonairs was so bullish about them and promoted them. This is what happens. Well, each to their own. Everyone who compared Ring to Strong kindly holds your <laughs> hold your L. <laughs> and you know what, guys? Let me tell you something. Right, the silver lining for those who are in Strong and you know guys you won't get this price i don't believe as low it as as it is i don't think you're going to get this price as low as it is again um if you're not in strong get in strong yeah if you're not in strong get in strong right and there is a youtuber that i want to actually want to reach out to and actually explain this to him because he was looking at it and he's a well-known youtuber as well i can't remember his name i'm quick crypto um gains i think it is crypto gains i think his name is um and he was looking at it and he's thinking well it's a ponzi and you know strong's a ponzi and everything else and the reality is everything's a ponzi every even your job's a ponzi you got a boss at the top well you got a ceo at the top and then all the way down and then you're all you guys who do the work is all the way down at the bottom you got your boss who's right above you so within that triangle you got smaller triangles and smaller triangles huh? until it comes down to you guys who are just the bods that's if you have a job. You're just a bud, mate, that make the whole thing work, all right? Everything's a, a pyramid. Every, it, that's just how it works. You know, it's a, it's a cycle of life. Yeah. But um, you have got dodgy pyramids. Yes, you do. Do you know what I mean? And it is a case where the earlier you get in, the more you the more you gain, right? The later you get in, is it's risky. Do you know what I mean? But strong, what I call strong a pyramid, <sighs> nah. Hell no, hell no. Why? Because they have nodes. They actually have a blockchain. They can build out blockchains. In actual fact, you can actually reach out to them and say, look, I want a blockchain with nodes and I want to call it this and they'll get the whole thing built up and it's a couple of little, you know, lines of like information. It's not even code. But they, they, it's, it's, they've removed the technicalities. Sorry, guys, I don't know why this is, um, here we go. Well, uh, praise God I'm getting another um, laptop today, so my videos is going to be absolutely tea for tremendous. But anyway, so Strong is not a company that's out there to rug people, and it's not like they do not have nodes. They do. You pay you pay your fourteen ninety nine or whatever it is for these nodes. You pay that because there are nodes actually there. Okay. Are you making majority of your money from the nodes? Hell no. Because m most people who's in this space understand that when you are running nodes, um, back in the early days when you used to have master nodes, then yeah, you could make shed loads of money. Projects and blockchains, and David spoke about this all the time, they, do not, they, they don't see the need of nodes, even though their blockchain will run a lot um, seamless with nodes, but they don't value it, right? Maybe that will change, who knows, but at the moment they don't. So the fact of the matter is, your nodes which are there, right, majority of your money do not come from that. It's coming from the whole um, tokenomics of the strong token. It's very, very small supply, right, massive demand. That keeps the price stable, right? So that means that every time you go and then you want to create another node, you have to give 10 you give him 10 back to the community even though it's broken down into different sections but you you know you're giving i think seven to the community and three from here and well, you guys can see the tokenomics it's on the website i'm not going to go into it the fact of the matter is strong is strong i promise you, absolutely not don't even come with that right <laughs> you know it's strong block the strong block with the people that's actually running it the the david and and, and i think there's another guy or another two that's on the team they are reputable people that are out there you can see his videos all over youtube yeah he's out there his name's out there they are doing what they're doing okay and that leads me on to say any project that is not willing to put their face out i will not be doing the ama with 
because as far as I'm concerned, I'm, why am I going to be talking to somebody who I cannot see who I'm talking to? Like, hello? <laughs> it just don't make any sense to me. And then promote that project. It's not happening. A lot of these projects, we will starve them out. And I'm reaching out to all you YouTubers as well. Right? And please spread this video. Don't, do not do any AMAs with any projects who, who is not willing to have their face on the video. Do not do it. End of story, finito, done. And I'll tell you why. Because if you do continue to promote these, um, these projects where there is no face to them, you may start to look sus suspect. And I've read that in one of the tweets, yeah? Where people are saying, well, you know, Kryptonians, you know, are pushing these people and blah, blah, blah. The fact of the matter is, look, what is done is done. You can't really get on their back for that. But what I will say is that if they move forward and keep interviewing projects with faceless people, then whatever, yeah? That's on you guys, all right? I personally ain't doing it. My standard is gone up, mate. The people that I am doing it, and I need to just, again, just say big shout out. Right to I call I called him Michael, but it's it's, it's really um, Michelle, right? It's French, yeah. Um, uh, dude for 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 Dax, right? D A X E, right? And that is one of those um, certificate of deposit. We I had the, I've got the AMA there. If you guys haven't watched it, go and watch it. The guy's on right in front of you. He's you can see him, yeah. He's there, right? He, he he shared his location with me where he's at so the fact of the matter is look the guy is there right everybody the all the team is on his website so i said yo i'm gonna do a ama with him right and and and, and that's what i've done and he's right there guys so wouldn't you feel more safe with somebody who's willing, the founder who is willing to put his face on camera and actually show who he is so this is why I'm saying to you, every single AMA that I do from now on will have people showing their face. They must dox. In actual fact, I actually had um, a little interview, AMA, in, yeah, ask me anything, interview AMA, right? With a couple of guys who do work with Kryptonaires, but they're not they're not affiliated with them so they work with them but they're not I mean they're not a part of the team should I say rather right they're affiliated with them and um, you know yeah the fact of the matter is is the, the, that I created the first interview with them and it's all there and I'm going to play a part of it you know in this video also right so you're going to hear a part of the gist of what they're bringing but I am actually penciling in hopefully tomorrow of having a complete AMA and obviously we've got fresh information now which is going to back up what these guys are trying to bring to the space and it's um look this will hopefully put to bed a lot of these scams zero scams now this right here right now will just be the answer to what we need to bring back some security to bring back some self regulation to hold people responsible when things go wrong Okay, and I've put some good suggestions to them, and I said, "Look, guys, right? When we're doing these things, we need to make sure that the actual developers, the first people who need to be held responsible, is the developers, right? So they need to be. When I say held responsible, right? They need to be um, doxed. Yeah, the founders need to be doxed." Yeah, and then there's a list of things which needs to happen. You know, a multi-sig wallet which creates security and and everything else. And um, you know, just docs multi-sig, making sure they haven't got any keys to the contract, making sure there's you know the contract has been audited. There's no backdoors that just seals all of that. Once you've got those one, two, three, four, five, six, seven things ticked, then as investors we can confidently go into it knowing that yo we got something solid here and at least if anything goes wrong we know who we can go that's me boy that's me that's me <laughs> i'm knocking on the desk and my dog thinks someone's at the door but anyway <laughs> right we can go knocking on someone's door all right calm down calm down it's all right it's all right all right so anyway look guys i'm not gonna keep this too long i really want to just 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 kind of bring this awareness to the to the, you know to you guys
What's going on? What's going on? It's a pleasure to be able to be on this call here today. Um, really, what we're trying to do here is we're trying to introduce a new concept and a new union of transparency into the DeFi space. Um, this has started off with an initial DeFi as a service protocol called Thor, and it's quickly snowballed into a larger concept uh, to really promote investor safety and transparency within a union of projects that cross share and cross promote information. Uh, so it started, I'll give you a little bit of a history about myself. Uh, my name is Colin, uh, you know, Nilok backwards is my name. Uh, I, uh, I've been a crypto investor since 2017. My, my username is just my name backwards, one, two, two, nine. I got you, man. Okay, so uh, a little bit of history about myself is I'm a crypto investor. I started off in 2017. Uh, I rode the high of 2017. I cried in 2018. I've done well in 2019 and 2020. Um, and uh, it all started really when I got involved with a project called Thor Nodes, which is a DeFi as a service protocol. Um, I got connected with the devs and the devs really understood uh, the need for this space to change. Um, with the crypto and DeFi as a whole have been a wild, wild west for years and years and years and the culture of it is almost people halfway expecting to get rugged or or to have you know bad actors take advantage of them well so what we did is we built up a protocol completely built on trust uh, from the day one of Thor launching, we made our uh, treasury public. We made our first vote on investment public on day two and we made our first investment on day three. Uh, we're just under two weeks into it now. We've now completed four different investments, have a fully uh, public treasury, and have been now inviting protocols within what we're calling the Union of Transparency. This is essentially a self-regulating self board entity that's going to be an independent third party from each individual protocol that's going to be vetting and supplying investors a safe space for them to invest in. I've been your boy CBK. Check all the links in the description. Join the Discord group, guys. Every single AMA from now on, everybody's face will be vi visible for you guys. So at least everything that I bring, you will have confidence in investing in. All right. Join the team. We are all here to to try and avoid these rugs moving forward, man, and work together. All right. I've been your boy. Peace, peace, peace. And um, let me know in the comments what you guys think, man. It's a sad old day, but anyway, it is what it is. Catch you guys soon. Peace, peace. I'm out.